Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk about tomato transplants, a couple ways that you can do it, but most importantly answer a couple of questions. And the main question I get is when should I start them indoors? How long should I let them grow indoors? And the answer really is, is you want to start your tomatoes indoors or in a protected area six to eight weeks before your outdoor soil temperature or night temperatures get to 50 degrees. Tomatoes enjoy warm weather, so if you're planting them into uh, container soil or earth bed soil that's really 40 degrees or less, they're just not going to thrive. They're just going to sit there and sometimes they even turn purple, they look sickly. What they're waiting for is warmth. So you want 50 degree nights, a couple, you know, 50, 60 degree rains helps too to warm up the soil. 50 degree nights, 70, 70 degree days, and that's the time that you're shooting for. So you kind of look, you know, online, find out when you know the week of 50 degree nights 70 70 degree days comes in your area and then you count backwards six to eight weeks today is march 8th these are tomato plants that were started on march 7th they're about eight weeks old they started going into the ground uh, last week they'll go in um, this weekend too and then i'm going to give away the extras to my neighbors but this is a plant that is eight weeks old and it had to get transplanted into an eight ounce cup from the cell so let me answer the next question. The next question I get a lot is, how long can they stay in these cells? When do you transplant them or when can you put them in the ground? This batch here was started on April 7th. So these are only about a month old or so. And you can see that they look great. And these weren't really grown uh, under the grow lights. They were started under grow lights. And as soon as they germinated, I started taking them outside for the day when the day temperatures were, you know, 40 plus. That's fine for the tomato seedlings. The sun would get them. They'd get used to the sun and they grew really well. The benefit to that is one, you don't need a really need a grow light system. You can use the day sun and just bring them in at night. But by doing that and having these plants outside, I don't have to acclimate them to the outdoor sun. What happens is when your plants like these are grown predominantly indoors, they have no um, defense really against the UV rays from the sun. So if I grew this inside for six weeks, took it outside, put it in the sun, this plant would actually get sunburn and really get beat up and good chance that it would die and look, look terrible. So when you grow a plant, any plant, indoors and it's protected from the sun, you have to slowly acclimate it to the outdoors. But let me get back to the main question. So this is about the size that you want to move your tomato plants. You could actually put them outdoors if, again, the temperatures are 50 degree nights, 70, 70 degree days, or you can move them into these 8 ounce cups. And you usually do it when the tomato plant is about 4 inches tall. These are the first leaves. You can actually pinch them off. They're not true leaves. So when your tomato plant is about this tall, it has four main leaves growing. It's really ready to move into the cup. The other way you can tell is when you take it out, you can see the root system is nice and healthy. It's filling up the sides and it's starting to curl there. You can gently break it up. That plant is ready to go again either into the ground if the temperature is right or right into a cup. And for a cup, all I do is put in some soil about there, drop this in, and actually I can't reach the top soil or the uh, potting soil, but then you just put potting soil in here and fill it up. The thing about tomatoes is you can also bury the stem into the cup and that's a good thing to do because it will root out and help you know develop a better root system. So when your plants get about this size, even a little bit smaller, the root system looks like that. It's ready to go into cups or they can go into the ground. So you have a couple of ways that you can start tomatoes indoors. Again, you want to start them six to eight weeks before they would go into your containers or into your earth bed. These were started eight weeks ago. These are mostly done under grow lights. You can do that. Or if you don't have the grow light system, you can start them in cells just like this and just put them outside in the sun during the day when the day temperatures are at least 40 degrees. The sun will germinate them. Having them indoors at night in a, you know, a 70 degree house that's staying warm will also help them germinate. But you're bringing them in and out so they're going to get the full intense sun. You're not going to have to acclimate these plants over time. They're going to be ready to go. And if you time it right, this is about four weeks worth of growth and you could really, this is the homestead variety, you could really pop these out just as they are 
and they could go right into your container or they could go right into your earth bed. Hope you enjoyed the video and it answers some questions people have been asking about seed starting tomatoes, when they go into the ground, and sort of how do you take care of them moving them from these cells into cups. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.